Hello. What's up? I am good. How are you? Good in a way of life, right? Yes, indeed. Life where? In Jamaica or in the U.S.? Kingston, Jamaica. Nice. I am sure you have to be back. home during this crazy time. Come again? I say I'm sure you're happy to be home during this crazy time. Home, home, yeah. Home is relevant, you know. How are you coping, though? Huh? How are you coping, though, during this time? Like this, let me show you. Ah, working on music. Non stop. You non -stop. really do eat, sleep, shit, dream, Everything, sex, music. music. Every fucking thing. Are you here, Michelle? Yeah, man. But you look very old. I'm a dog. I'm in Trinidad. I'm in the Caribbean. And I'm okay. out. Right? So you're going to hear a lot of things like birds and dogs and all that. No problem. I'm no problem. As long as I'm a gunshot, we hear everything good. All right. So tell me one of the things that you miss most um, since the pandemic. And, and some of the things you appreciate most about the pandemic. I miss um, incoming bank transfers. <laughs> that, that me miss most. I, I've been getting all the outgoing transfers, no notifications, but me miss the incoming one them. So um, all the deposits, all of them, something from the show them. You know what I mean? I think that is where that is where um, we get the, the biggest hit. You know, but I think the locking inside and 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 time with family and time to actually create. I actually welcome that. You know what I mean? So if we could have do that and still balance the exactly. income and, and the shows and going to the fans, it would have been Right. I actually uh, spoke to a number of artists and public figures, comedians and so, and I was asking them if they were worried about finances. Because yes, on the outside, we would see how big you guys are and you're traveling and performing. But a lot of people don't know the place that you're sitting in right now takes mm -hmm. a whole heap of money from you before they even get to hear a song mm -hmm, that they mm -hmm. can to appreciate from you. Um, yeah. So I like the way you said it, though. You know, what, what you don't like is the fact that <laughs> you're getting the deposits right now. But I want to talk about the most recent single um, collaboration, like, whoa. Do you know the whoa? Like, like whoa. Yeah. Like, stuff, whoa. What right. I was Them's... expecting to see that in the video. Are you whoa that? You say you don't? I mean, I know the whoa. I mean, I have it. I want to share this. Yeah. No, I mean, I have that part there. Okay. Well, I want I'll, to talk I'll make about... the music and you can do the whoa, all right? Me here, yeah? I'll make the music and the fans and yourself can do the whoa. Okay. Right. Whoa. I'm just learning it. Um, But I want to talk about a very popular line um, in that song. I mean, the entire song is amazing. <laughs> ah, what we're gonna why? Talk. What, what's the popular mm -hmm. line in what about? Look at you now. <laughs> Pretty face, not disturbing vagina type. By the way, you're looking very to pretty today. <laughs> you're looking very it pretty. It went so. Watch country. It went so. Whoosh. To me, it went so. Whoosh. Over so I had to ask you what I did. First of all, that line did not go over your head. I know you, you know you understand clearly what I'm saying. Um and I think it's self explanatory, pretty face, no determined vagina type. You can't judge a book by the cover. That's basically what I'm saying. Right? And not because the girl look hot or she looks sexy or she look cute. That don't mean that okay. that next side of something is gonna be lit. Okay, got it. All right, so I know you don't have the time. Because again, you're in studio, you're working, you're touring, but not now. Um, not but touring. Yeah. Not working, but you don't have the time to go through your comments. So I went through some for you, and I want to read some for you, and I want to hear your response. Why you do that? Why? No, no, no. I choose you... only good ones. I choose great yeah, ones. I trouble me kind of for a long time, yeah. So on that turn me on, right? They said. I love how conscience loves black women and make sure they are usually the focus and love interest in his video. Great song and video. 
Why oh. to you is using black women in your music videos important to you? Get it? But a lot of people don't know. A lot of people. And for all, for all of you, remember, you know, black, don't be, don't, all of the people, you know, where they are the colorists and the, the classes and them type of people. Black is black, you know. That's you it. So even you with your light skin and your nice, your, 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 your nice look at your style and thing, black girls see me. But you know what, they, what most people are talking if if a black person should say something like that, I'm, I know what they're talking about is dark skinned women, which me, me, me still feel like dark skinned women, even to this day, is kind of underrated. I don't I don't think they're not not injustice are going where dark skinned women is are, are concerned. I think, but I think them under underrated on a public in a public point of view, like for videos and people underestimate and underrate how really beautiful and sexy the dark like, skin girl is. Right, but but do you think that's because of our men or because of the light skin women or But even the woman sexual? them underrate themselves too cause enough dark skin girl like, you know, to each his own but who bleach and try if use the makeup and look make themselves a little bit lighter when really and truly right. man I lost half of them dark skin. So you know, but we don't want to get too deep on any of them. You know, it's a, it's no. a very chill day, yeah? but that's really the mindset still. We like highlight how beautiful all women are. Like people will highlight, pick out the dark skin girl out of the video, but a nice browning always did it too. You know what right. I mean? A white girl always did it too. You know what I mean? Right. Beautiful across the board. Same way, I agree with you. Um, so we're gonna go to Bubble Girl or Bubble. Go on in, you know. Nice song and video so much talent in jamaica only thing missing is the funds and international promotion 90 percent of hip-hop is a joke compared to dancehall and reggae of today and the global masses love it as well mm -hmm. i'm talking about outside of the usc unfortunately many reggae artists measure their success with breaking in that market the us yeah. and that is a mistake in my opinion Okay. Um, need to realign their global perspective and fly further, so to speak. Now, let me just say this. A lot of people do not know that hip-hop was founded by a Jamaican. A Jamaican, yeah. Just cool her, mm -hmm. Right? You will get any huge, any huge hip-hop artist to say it. Run DMC, you know, we at Temple have it. In any hip-hop artist who actually in history, that, they will say it. Right, exactly. You just you just froze for like two seconds. Now you're blurry. I don't know if you're hearing me. Are you hearing me? You blurry too, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna understand what I'm going. A blurry party I'm going. Yeah. I'm blurry to you as well? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, I don't know. I look good on my side. All right, well, right. So what 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 um, is your take on this person's comment? There's like a couple things you can talk about. Dance all hip hop and then um, Caribbean artists thinking that they need to need to make it in the US in order to say they made it. Um, I think from a talent perspective, Caribbean artists on a whole miles ahead in terms of just raw talent, raw and filtered talent. Because you know most things fix up. It's like when you're an athlete and you get better training, better better um feel for play and you get better equipment, um, you get that in America and it improves the quality of the product. I think Jamaica from an untouched, untapped talent perspective and the Caribbean is far, far ahead. But at the end of the day, a business where I do and it's not about what could have and should have and would have is what we see. So we can't argue where, where the talent aspect is concerned. We can, but me I got always tip the scale towards the Caribbean. Where an artist feel measuring his success by by um American standards and if him cross over. Yeah. Because how much people live in America? How many? We have like three million people in a in a Jamaica and 
Rough river. Uh, uh, more millions outside of Jamaica, but like one city in America alone is like Kings is like J Jamaica. So bigger markets, farther reach, and more money. So it really unfair for somebody for somebody really beat or try to knock an artist that measure him success by by um outside standards. Right. Okay. So we're going to move on to Holdo, and this is the last. Yeah. Um, so excuse my Jamaican, but I want to read it like they wrote it, right? Okay. So conscience with the girl them, dance all soca in bad both genres. Now that's a thing as a Trinidadian, um, well, Trinbagonian, I would say was very impressive. Um, you fit, at least to us, you fit well into the soca um, genre, but still didn't fully change his style. You know, and not just soca, yeah. that's already soca and somewhat hip hop, you know, but tell us about your soca journey and, and. I think most, I think most soca, you see, so I realized from my early, from my first soca hit was a dance hall song. I sang them the girl them at all for me. Right. right now, yeah. mm -hmm. It start playing in a soca party, but it's not a soca song. So I realized from that, that was like my entrance into the soca industry. And I realized right. that way how passionate and, and sensitive soca people are about soca. It's not just them and your bad, come sing. So if you try to do a soca song and make yourself so, try to sound like a trini, then you don't feel authentic. You're a Jamaican. Why you try to sound like a trini? You laugh at somebody. Right. So I realized that from early, so if you notice all of my soca songs, I'm not trying to do a Bajan accent or a trini accent or right. not like countries that you know. So, so they more appreciate the music from that standpoint. And then it bad. And you can't lie to yourself if it's bad and it feel authentic. You get the message, a good music at the end of the day. And um, people will always gravitate towards good music. And being a part of the soca, the actual culture of soca now, when we go carnival and feel the energy, I start the music from a, from a different standpoint again because I fully understand what the people are experiencing. Um, in at the party while listening to the song. Right. So, you know, of, of putting some lyrics, but not too much, more melodies, the topic selection, and you know, just understand it more. Right. And I think that's um, because you stayed authentic and original to who you are. I think that's yeah. why you are loved and appreciated so much in the soca um, industry. So I want to go to Instagram, and I want you to tell me what was going through your mind in this picture. Well, thank God the picture blurry, so I can't go and let me not see. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm really still blurry. I don't know. Okay, wait. That's describe that. Describe, describe, describe that look. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. Okay. Describe that, that picture there to me. Describe my face. It is the last picture you posted. Um, yeah, but describe sleeve. it to me. Like, I'm, I'm you're looking at You're in a long sleeve, black jersey, yeah. uh, chains, and you're like, Look happy. You look happy, but you're biting you biting your bottom. Maybe I was. Maybe I was happy. So your happiness is show the teeth on the top, bite your bottom lips. Oh, that did I go on in another picture there? So yeah, maybe like... it was a specific type of happiness. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Okay. While we're on Instagram, I want to know what is one of the most encouraging DMs you've ever received from a fan. One of the most what? Encouraging or inspirational um, DMs you receive from a fan. Wow, well, I get those daily. Like, I think when people tell me them story and, and tell me what a particular song did for them and you know, I mean, them, them outline what they were going through at the time, and then a song change them, them, them mindset are, you know, like them thing they always don't feel like yo, keep going. You get what I'm saying? Like just to hear somebody's story, 
Like one time somebody said them 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 feel like I mean we're not getting into detail of what the person said, but they were going through a very tough time. And you know, when it rains it pours them type of life there. And them say real song kinda kinda get them out of it. Basically listening to it listening to it daily and and, and it's a song I mean I listen to for years now. So for somebody to say that to me now in twenty twenty that yo, this song you did from how many years ago is my daily bread and it helped me do this like them thing there. I don't know if you know. That just goes to show how important um lyrics that you write, melody or just music generally that you create is so important. You know, you have to think about what you put out into the atmosphere because it definitely affects person. So what is one of the dirtiest, sexiest sex you've ever received in your DM? And it don't have to be now we could talk about back in the day, you know. Sex, uh, dirtiest, not even good morning, not even high. Pussy, bralo, boof. <laughs> no, 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 hey, no, what's up? <laughs> no, just message, click, pussy. Video. Wow. I play the guitar. Guitar, guitar, guitar. I'm like, yo, oh, that's wow. even good morning. <laughs> so, yeah, them thing that. I don't fuck with it. Okay. I, I didn't, I wouldn't, okay. Um, so I want to go to something a little more It's a clean life. It's a clean I'm life, yeah, do. Not really. Oh, I mean, God. What, what comes, comes. I, I kind of expected it from you, but I didn't expect. Why you expect know. that from me? I mean, conscious, look at the kind of music you sing. Look at how you are on stage. I mean, Keep I'm Keep my mind out of my heart. Keep negative out of my heart. Me? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Okay, let's move to something a little lighter. I want to talk yeah, about please. versions. Um, Bounty and Beanie, you know, you have been very vocal. Be. Um, exactly. You stated your facts. You were like pro-Jamaica, pro-Bounty and Beanie. But I want to hear uh -huh. how you felt at that moment uh, when you were looking at it on your phone or wherever you were watching the live. I tell you, we were in here. I listening for the big speaker, the man with a big vibe, with a drink, and you know what I mean. We feel like we're there in our party. Listen, like, and I think for every artist, and every media personality, and every fan that was not there, do not mad people are what like. We have this issue of where, as artists or entertainers, is a big issue to be a fan of. Not even just the artists before us, but even current artists. Like being a fan is it's so complex for some man. I mean, I have no problem being a fan and 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 being true to the facts that you're a big dancehall fan, whether I'm in the game or not. You know what I mean? Right. So to not be present and not and not be one of the persons where we have the flag in there, it, right. it would have been it would have been crazy. And everybody will know me know that. Right. Um, and we respect you for that. And one of the things, but well, multiple things happen in there, but I want to talk about one um, that stood out to me in the height of such great things, not just for Jamaicans, but for the Caribbean. You know, um, a celebrity jumped in and said that Jamaica is the capital for most crimes, you know, like just like on the that. live. On the live, you didn't we see We never see them all now. We don't know who said that. Well, Lou, I have no time for that. Ludacris said that, you know, in the height of all this amazingness, um, you know, Beanie and Bounty representing the Caribbean, the best way they know how, hands down, the best verses. Um, he said that Jamaica, you know, is known for crime capital. So I, what I wanted to know is just to understand, do you think that Jamaicans having seen that, what would you what what do you think would be the reception if he were to say come into Jamaica now? If he were to say that in Jamaica now, is that the question? No. If no, if he were if he were traveling to Jamaica now and mm -hmm. and everybody saw it, they say they know Ludacris said this and he was coming to he said, I come into Jamaica for a holiday. What do you think? <laughs> would, how do you think Jamaica Nobody would trouble Ludacris? Nobody would not trouble Ludacris. Ludacris know that too. So I mean, people people won't be set what them feel for set. And even though it's close to the, is it's not that far from the facts. 
you know what I mean? We're known for negativity too. But you have to go dig through a whole heap of positivity to get to the negativity where Jamaica bring. You know what I mean? The amount of positivity where we bring to the world is like a light where them shine upon the world. So whosoever want to highlight the negative can do that. Me tour the world extensively and me can tell us a man are dead everywhere. People are dead everywhere. You know what I mean? A crime that every single part of this world. We can tell you about four or five places where we go where well, crime free. Everywhere have them thing, but of the course. impact with Jamaica have upon the world positively though is something where you cannot overlook and you cannot exactly. understand. So right. Ludacris can come to him, can go to Sanders and we'll be up see me. I will love Ludacris music and him album them and thing. Right. No, um the thing is he just came to Trinidad for Carnival and I don't know if he's him. Mm. You know, and he was Trinidad, 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 I wanna go back. But um, you know, some will argue and say we're number one, but I think we're number two, but this is not being biased, I'm not talking bad about In my crime? Country. Yes. Yeah, but um, you know give a carnival too, and sexy girl and steel fun and fake and shark. Ah, uh, so that's something so in <laughs> can, if you know, Anybody who want to highlight the negative, they can, but come on, the Caribbean is a nice place, man. Right. Okay, so I want to talk about Still on Versus Battle. A lot of people will, a lot of people say,